Hey guys, so today as you can see, I am going to be doing something to my hair and I want to apologize from the beginning because right now I am having the worst sinuses or sinus issues right now. So my face is swollen, my nose is running, my eyes are itchy, so I look a mess right now but today was my wash day. And I wanted to do a few or a couple reviews on some items that, I'm sorry, I wanted to do a review off of a couple items that I got from Beauty Choice. And it's beautychoice.com and I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with Beauty Choice um, from gurus like um, Julie G and um, It's Judy Time and I've seen a lot of... Um, other people here on YouTube that have gotten items from over at Beauty Choice and I've actually been a fan of their site for a very very long time so I have a few items that I'm going to review there are a couple of actual hair products and I tested these out last week once I took my braids out and they're from um, the macadamia natural oil products line and I have the deep repair mask I'm gonna you know do some better shots cuz I'm not in focus but the uh, deep repair mask and also the healing oil treatment and when I say that I love this stuff I do love this stuff it kinda reminds me of the products from over at organics and I've been using the organics products for for maybe four or five months now and I'm in love with those also but these they, they kind of remind me of them and um, how this deep repair mask works it's you pretty much after you've washed and um, I did it after I condition but um, you wash and I condition and then I just put this all over my hair last week I did it with my tea tree tea uh, black tea treatment this time I just did it alone and you just let it sit um, I don't know how long I let mine sit I let it sit for quite some time and then you just rinse it out and with the healing oil you take just a little bit just a little bit of the stuff and you just you know rub it in and rub it off through your hair I am totally loving this stuff now the consistency of the mask is pretty much like a conditioner it smells so good it smells so freaking good I don't even it just it reminds me of a summer day that's the only thing I can say that the smell of this stuff reminds me of it smells so freaking good and um, this is like a thicker oil like that's why I say you don't really need a whole lot of this stuff it's probably like the consistency of maybe the Jamaican black castor oil if you ladies and gentlemen are familiar with that but um, it's not a castor oil treatment it's just um, it's a healing oil treatment I would totally recommend these they they worked really good for my hair and my hair is fine and I, my hair is different I don't know you know 4A, 4B, 3A whatever I don't know what exactly my texture would be labeled as but it's thin but when it's in its natural state it's really tightly curled you know and sometimes that can make it difficult because I'm tender head and it's it's special so <laughs> that's one of the two of the items that I wanted to uh, talk about the next thing I'm going to be reviewing are these Metropolis flat irons which I love <laughs> So you guys know, or if you don't, um, I, for the last maybe two or three years, have been using irons from Gilberie de Paris, and I love those flat irons. Those are the only ones that I've actually been using on a regular basis, but I used these for the first time last week, and I fell in love with these flat irons. Yes, I am totally loving these. These are called... The London Iron and uh, what it says on here is this even heating ceramic tourmaline 
Ionic Styling Iron. It's a lot of words. <laughs> okay, so opening up the box, this is how it looks. Nice and put in there. I hope you guys aren't seeing my glare. But um, it explains it explains a lot on this entire box on how to use it and you know everything that it's composed of and all of that good stuff. But of course, the proof is in the pudding for me, so I just kind of went through and took the iron out, which is packaged like that. So I'm gonna plug them up, and um, while they're heating up. We can talk a little bit about it. So a couple um, key points on this iron is that, of course, there's a thermally ceramic flex plate on it. It has an adjustable temperature up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Um, humidity proof styles that last longer, which I can really attest to. Um, ionic and fire infrared benefits, and it has a 360 degree rotating uh, cord. So, you know, no matter which way that you turn it, it's going to turn with you. Now, just a touch on that humidity um, key point that I that I just read off of the box. Now, my hair, uh, the, when I took my hair down, that was the first time I believe, if I remember correctly, that I flat ironed my hair maybe... Oh gosh, probably four or five months. Probably, I'm not really certain. But even when I flat ironed it before, you know, my hair, and it's typically back here in the back where it's thicker, you know, any, any amount of humidity that touches it, excuse me, it's going to make it revert. I don't care what I do, you know, it's it's going to swell up and by the end of me, by the end of the hairstyle, I'm going to have a fro, regardless of anything. I don't care what I put in it, you know, how much I flat iron it, whatever. But when I use these irons right here. I, I flat ironed my hair and I flat ironed it once and it lasts until I actually washed it today. Um, and I used these flat irons Sunday or Monday and I didn't have to flat iron my hair anymore until now because I'm washing it. So these, these are a winner in my book and again they're the Metropolis uh, flat iron. It's called the London Iron. Um, from the Metropolis brand and I'll make sure that I link everything below how much it costs and all of that good stuff in the down bar in the video somewhere I really really like these irons and you guys are gonna see because my hair has only been blown straight the top of my hair is thinner than the back and the sides of my hair so you know that's gonna straighten out but I'm gonna have you you're gonna see when I when I actually start to flat iron my hair just uh, talking a little bit about my hair um, and taking my braids out I actually <clears throat> excuse me was getting discouraged because you know right before I put my braids in I cut my hair again yes I did I know I need to stop but you know it's taken me so long to grow out of the layers that was putting my hair like I don't even know how many years ago maybe two two years ago I think and it's taken so long and I think I finally grown out of the final layer I will never ever cut layers in my hair again because by my hair being so thin once the layers start to grow it starts to look real nasty and you just got to keep cutting it until you know all of the hair catch up with one another I may have just a little bit of a difference in length but it's not by that much anymore so I'm really happy about that um, I'm not cutting my hair anymore I just I really want to see how long it will grow and I think the next time that I check my length I'm gonna do you know my weekly wash regimens and all of that but I want to just see how long between like maybe now and next June how long my hair can actually grow 
I'm going to probably trim it again before the end of the year and then I won't trim it again until after, you know, whatever I do to it. But flat iron should be nice and hot. So I'm going to go ahead and start flat ironing it so that you guys can see how good these irons are. Just run away. the London iron and as you guys see it got extremely straight no signs of reversion yet hopefully I don't have any but like I said if it was any time like the last time I shouldn't get any I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it my my bangs are finally growing back out I'm so happy even though this always happens this side is significantly longer than this side I don't know why how it always happens but I'm cool with that as long as they're growing I I don't I don't think I ever showed you guys how short I cut my bangs when I first cut them back in March they were like right here above my eyebrow they were like right here and the reason why I cut them were I cut actually the whole top part of my hair where I was wearing um I was wearing uh, U parts and I was flat iron the top of my hair all the time and I wasn't using a heat protector I wasn't using um, I wasn't washing it like I should normally I'll usually wash it every week wash and condition the top part that or whatever leave out I have I wasn't doing that and I just wasn't taking care of it so it started breaking off I mean yeah that's pretty much what happened so I had to cut it and it's finally growing back. I'm really happy. I cut it back in March. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to wrap it and then take a few pictures, but definitely run over to beautychoice.com and just check out all the things that we, that you guys saw today. The macadamia, uh, natural oil products and these flat irons right here. They giving Jill Barita Paris a run for their money, and again, y'all know I'm an avid user of the Jill Barita Paris, the Paris flat irons. I've been using them every every time I do my hair. Those are the only ones that I use until now. <laughs> These are my my new favorites. So I'm gonna go ahead again. Uh, what I normally do after I flat iron my hair is I wrap it up for maybe like 10, 20 minutes. And um, then, then I unwrap it and I part it on the side like this and just kind of wear it like that. 
Because right now, I mean, how I flat ironed it, I flat ironed it to put body in it. And right now, I'm looking like I got Michelle Obama hair. <laughs> or or Oprah, Oprah, Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey hair. I don't know. So it's looking like to me. I'll be glad when the top catch up with the rest because the top is fairly shorter, a lot shorter than where the sides are. Alright guys, let me know how you feel about these flat irons. If you've ever tried the uh, macadamia natural oil products and how you like them and all of that good stuff head on over to beauty choice because not only do they have the appliances and hair products they have some everything over at the site you probably find something that you like guys i um yeah i'm so drippy right now it's so nasty i'm sorry but yeah i'm gonna talk to you guys later <laughs>